start at the end. What is the significance of Israeli soldiers in Gaza dancing uh, and chanting? Uh, we come to address Amalek. Well, there is a, uh, a very important uh, subtext to all of this, which is uh, the use of biblical symbology and uh, biblical and religious beliefs that are part of uh, Israel's rhetoric and core to Israel's politics. Uh, Amalek is a, a, a part of the Bible uh, when uh, the Israelites uh, are instructed uh, by God to kill all of this nation. And it is one of many genocides, in fact, uh, in, uh, in the Old Testament. Uh, the book of Joshua, which is the uh, part of the Bible, the sixth the book of the Old Testament, uh, in which the Israelites, after having escaped from uh, Egypt, uh, in the exodus from Egypt, arrive at uh, their promised land and are instructed by God, according to the book of Joshua, to uh, not only take the land, but to kill every man, woman, and child in the land that they are to take. And uh, it's very clear uh, repeatedly from one nation to the next in the book of Joshua that this is to be a genocide that no one shall survive. Now, uh, fast forward uh, 2,600 years, and this text, these texts are being referred to explicitly by the prime minister, by the Israel Defense Forces, and by a large part of the, the Israeli politics, uh, much of which reflects a religious zealotry uh, that takes the Bible as the literal basis for action. And the Bible has in these texts the instructions for genocide, for killing everybody. Mm. And we hear this echo uh, not only in the video that the uh, South African lawyer showed, but uh, in a shocking compilation of uh, videos that uh, Gray Zone uh, produced. Uh, Max Blumenthal, the investigative reporter, produced, released, and posted on uh, Gray Zone uh, a compilation that is filled one after another with this uh, biblical reference, this uh, genocidal fever, uh, and uh, the chanting and delight at the destruction of everybody. So what we're seeing here is a mix of uh, military brutality, religious zealotry, political manipulation in a concoction that is extraordinary. Uh, I think it is so foreign to our eyes to see this, but in the court to have it laid out so explicitly and the court is a, a place of decorum. Uh, you saw the lawyer, how uh, dignified and eloquent he was. I listened to much of his presentation earlier in the day, and the room was silent, listening, having to absorb this direct evidence, not having the ever-present and, for me, utterly disgusting spin from the White House newsroom or uh, some other spin, but actually listening to the realities, grim realities, laid out one by one. 